Hello YouTube, this is uh, M6EB, back with another video. Um, as you might or may or may not be aware, uh, me and my father-in-law have created a um, Yesu Fusion Gateway uh, in the northwest coast of the UK in uh, Ellswick, Preston. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've had a couple of questions really, um, asking how simple it is to use people that aren't familiar with the AC Fusion. Uh, so I just thought I'd just get my mobile phone out and just do a very simple, quick video just to show you how to how simple it is to use. So basically our gateway is a simplex gateway, so it's on this frequency, uh, 431125. Um, Obviously, you'll need a uh, Yesu Fusion radio, and as you can see, we've got the uh, DX button there. So all you do, press and hold this button. You'll see it'll send a request. There you go, it's sent a request, and there you go, it's received it. Right, so we're now connected to the node. But as you can see, CQ UK is flashing because we're not actually connected although we are connected, if that makes sense. So basically, what if we want to see um, the menus, if it was, on the, on the node radio, at, um, on the node itself, you just hot, press and hold the band megahertz button. And then we can see here we've got um, all, search, and direct, local news. So if you, for instance, if you went to local news and then press the display button, It'll send the request. It should send the request over. Okay, it hasn't done it that time. There you go. Got there in the end. Sometimes it is a bit like that, but mind you, I think that's more my end than the node radio because my antenna is in the loft, which is never a good idea, is it, as you'll know. Um, so basically, yeah, MB6 IPR. If we just hit the uh, display button, there it's connecting. There you go. Um, so it'll just where you can find news. So it's like you'd click news. And you can upload a message or download a message. So let's try and see what there is on the download. So we'll hit uh, display. We've got voice messages, picture messages. Um, I obviously know that there's only voice on there at the moment. And they're probably my messages. So it'll send a request. There you go. It's received. And these are my messages. And then you just hit display. Sends a request. This is Mike 6, Charlie Echo Bravo. And that's as simple as that. So if we want to upload a message, we would click on uh, upload. And now it's going to say, um, do we want to upload voice, which we do. Right, press the PTT to upload. So you just talk. This is Mike 6, Charlie Echo Bravo. I'm just doing an upload on a YouTube video uh, just to show you how to use the Yesu, Yesu YSX features on MB6 IPR. There you go, completed. So there you go. There's our, and obviously we could click download, go back into voice, sends a request.
Not sure if that got through or not. Yeah, you just bear in mind that this this is mostly my issue because of my antenna being in the loft. So sometimes they're not getting through because I'm probably about a good ten miles away from uh, from the node radio. Go download. Oh. Here we go. There you go. So there's my message there. This is Mike Six, Charlie Echo Bravo. I'm just doing an upload on the YouTube video uh, just to show you how to use the Yaesu YZ features on MB6 IPR. And there you go, that's as simple as that. So if we go back to the, the main menu, as it were, um, we obviously always, to get into any of the, the menus, just press and hold the band megahertz button. And this is like the main menu, if we will. So if we go to all and click display, it should list us all the rooms. And this is a, an up-to-date list, exactly as of now, how many, and you can see there, uh, America Link say has 101 nodes and repeaters connected to that. Um, obviously, I'm from the UK and I'm a, quite frequent the uh, CQ UK room, and there's 35 nodes and repeaters in there. Um, so, if you wanted to say go into the CQ UK room, you would then hit display, sends a request, and it comes back, and we're connected. And it's as simple as that. And now we are connected. So you can just press the back button and there you can see that the CQ UK is not flashing anymore and we are now connected to that room. So it will any transmissions will just come through as normal like it would on any repeater um, and obviously just talk back to it uh, and get a reply and see what who's about. Um, but when you finish with the node um, you don't just turn your radio off because then the node will still be connected so even though you've turned your radio off um, any transmissions going on in this the room you was already in will be still being broadcast from the node because you haven't disconnected from it and to disconnect from the node you use your uh, star button on your this one in this bottom left corner so you just press and hold that and there you go it should disconnect. If it doesn't, as I say, this is my issue uh, with it being in the loft. Sometimes things don't go, oh, there you go, not connected. So now it's going back to flashing again, which means that we're not connected. So I can happily turn off my radio and uh, the node radio won't be broadcasting anymore until someone else or I go back into it and go through that process again. Um, so just another quick uh, recap. We can just hit the band megahertz button, hold it, click all. There you go. It's now going to download the list of rooms. Uh, let's say we want to go into the America link. Transmits it, comes back, and now we're connected. And like I said just then, if you press the star button to disconnect, it will only do that in between transmissions so if if someone's on a on a, an over now like now if i press it now and hold it it's not disconnecting because there's somebody talking but as soon as the guy finishes talking it will do it for you so you just monitor it and make sure it does disconnect so i've put the microphone down now and once he's done his over it'll disconnect There you go, not connected, so it's disconnected. And that's it, you can see the America link underneath flashing. So that's it, we're, we're now disconnected. And that's it really, I just wanted to give a, a quick demonstration on how to use the uh, the YSX. And it's for obviously any node and repeater. Um, it's the same no matter which one you use really. Um, so hopefully that's cleared up a little bit for you. And as I say, if you've got any questions whatsoever, 
um, then then please feel free to let me know and I'll uh, answer your questions. So I've been Mike Six Charlie Echo Bravo, and you've been very kind to watch. And seventy three.